prompting many to ask, what's the risk of getting COVID-19? As cases go up, executive orders are in place, but as the holiday season approaches, the answer to that question is still unclear. Valley News Team's Callie Hubbard explains how you may be able to calculate the risk. Stay at home and cook for the, fam for the family and for friends that may not be able to make it to family. Natasha Harmon from Fargo says this year she's cooking for her family of five and inviting a few friends, totaling around seven people. It's the same friends every year. Researchers from the Georgia Institute of Technology made an interactive map that shows the risk of attending events in various sizes in different places. For example, if you were to have a social gathering on Monday, November 16th with 10 people in Cass County, your risk level of getting the virus would be 50 percent. In Grand Forks, it would be 69 percent. If you were to have 15 people in one place, your risk level is 65 percent in Cass County and 82 percent in Grand Forks. Harmon says North is where many of her friends are heading for the holidays. So it'd be better if they don't put their family at risk this year so that way they can go next year. Others on Facebook told us they're spending time with family any chance they get and plan on skipping out if they feel sick. Some are cutting down on the number of people in their home and not taking any chances as the virus spreads. In Fargo, Callie Hubbard, Valley News Live. Georgia Tech is one of the many organizations that put together a COVID-19 risk calculator. If you want to know your risk, you can download our VNL News app and click on this story. More than one million children.